These are my predictions for this week's PS5 showcase. Hello friends, welcome back to hi for games my name is Joseph and here we are. The big showcase we have been waiting for from PlayStation is happening today, but what are we going to see there? Let's explore the options. PlayStation has been in the critical eye this year regarding their support for indie games in comparison to Microsoft or Nintendo or even their own selves in the PS3 and early PS4 cycles. They have held several Twitter and PlayStation blog spotlights for indie games with big releases like Hades, Chicory, and Fist to name a few. Last year they revealed some games in their two showcases that are being released pretty close like Kina Bridge of Spirits, Get the Far Shore, and Solar Ash, but then we have some that we haven't heard anything or they will move into 2022 like Goodbye Volcano High, Little Devil Inside and Stray. We had a little bit of gameplay from Stray during the Annapurna Interactive Showcase, but the other two we haven't seen that much, so expect one of these to be in the showcase, along with new indies coming throughout the next 12 months, and probably one last trailer for Kina as well. They have also been supporting more Asian small developers through the China Hero Project, so perhaps one of these as well. Third parties were a big standout last year with stuff like Resident Evil Village, Final Fantasy XVI and a couple of Bethesda titles. One of those, Deathloop, is coming next week, so I think it would be safe to bet that a final trailer is gonna be shown here. But we also have Ghostwire Tokyo from Tango Gameworks, a game that was scheduled to release in fall 2021, but was then delayed to early 2022, which is probably gonna appear here as well. Resident Evil Village saw a couple of exclusive demos and launched to a great reception earlier this year. At E3 there was confirmation that the game will be getting DLC thanks to its fans, it's too early for this to make an appearance here. Speaking of Resident Evil, could this be the spot where they announce the leaked Resident Evil 4 remake? I also don't think so, as it seems the project was still way too early when it leaked and it was rebooted at some point after the reception of Resident Evil 3 remake. One Capcom game that could make an appearance is Pragmata, but at CES 2021 it appeared on one of the trailers being delayed to 2023. Switching up to Square Enix, I don't think we'll get anything from Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 yet, while they announced its development 6 months before Part 1 was released and is supposedly coming along well, I think it feels too early after having shipped the upgrade and the DLC this year. Last year they also had Final Fantasy XVI, but producer Naoki Yoshida said in July that the game was probably not going to be shown at TGS, whether that rules it out from being here as well remains to be seen. Forspoken, formerly known as Project Athia, is the one that is seemingly further down in development and will see the release date before the other two titles, plus a star Ella Balinska was teasing on her Instagram that content from the game is pending so maybe we'll see it again here. Elsewhere from Square Enix we got confirmation today that Avengers won't be part of the showcase despite them revealing that the exclusive Spider-Man character on PS4 and PS5 is due for this fall and winter. We could see something from Guardians of the Galaxy given that the game was revealed at the Square Enix summer event with a PlayStation build of the game and maybe they have some exclusive content for getting it on the platform. One project that would make me very happy if it was here and was rumored recently is a remaster of Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver dropped by Xbox era co-founder Nick Baker back in June, but not sure that will be here either. From WB Games we saw Hogwarts Legacy last year but after the controversy that resulted in senior producer leaving back in March, plus the game being delayed to 2022, pretty much says that it's not going to be here. Other projects from WB like DC's Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League are reappearing at this year's DC fandom, so they're not gonna be here either. Grand Theft Auto 5 was also featured last year and we got the exclusive money DLC coming each month. The game is supposedly being launched in November, so it would seem another safe bet for the showcase. Then from Activision they are already running the multiplayer beta exclusivity for Call of Duty, a trailer was just released this week so I'm not expecting anything from that. People have pointed out that maybe something from Crash Bandicoot since the franchise is celebrating its 25th anniversary soon, but developer Toys for Bob was dismantled this year and put on support for Call of Duty so I really doubt it. PlayStation has announced several partnerships from newly formed independent studios like Haven from Jay Raymond, formerly of Ubisoft and EA, Deviation Games formed from developers coming from Activision's Call of Duty teams, and Firewalk Studios coming from Destiny developers. 
While they seem to be very early in development, I think at least one could reveal a little bit more on what they are working on, either on the full showcase or the post-show featuring developer interviews. Abandoned has been giving a lot to talk about since being announced back in April. The rumors blew up around June when they were scheduled to reveal their trailer app and it got delayed twice to then only show like a 5 second teaser that they had already shown on Twitter. The guys at Bluebox have been quiet since September 1st, where they published an FAQ again reassuring they are not tied to Konami or Kojima and delaying the game to 2022. I believe them when they say they have nothing to do with Kojima mainly because the last time he did this he didn't raise expectations to lay everything at the last minute, which makes these guys look very amateurish in comparison. But who knows, maybe they leave the bail here, whether a prank or not. Let's start with the game that has had some recent news and that's Horizon Forbidden West. I think they should not show it here given that we already got a lengthy demo, but I think it will be here even if it's a small trailer. Gran Turismo 7 was delayed to 2022 and after making an appearance at last year's event, I think it's another log for Sony's showdown today. Insomniac had an amazing year releasing Spider-Man Miles Morales and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart back to back in a span of 7 months. And I think they will skip this event entirely. So no Spider-Man 2, although it would make me very happy to be wrong here. We haven't seen anything from Pixel Opus since Concrete Genie in 2019, so maybe we could see something from them here. Same from developer Ben Studio who wrapped Days Gone in the same year and was reportedly working on a new IP. There's been some supposed leaks from it being a Men in Black game, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. There have been rumors also coming by way of Nick Baker from Xbox Era Podcast that a new infamous game may be in the works, and I would be really hyped with that, but Sucker Punch just releasing Ghost of Tsushima, its PS5 version, the Iki DLC and more stuff for Legends, I don't see it happening unless it's coming from another studio. Bluepoint Studios was mistakenly announced as being acquired by Sony in June when Housemark was acquired and nothing has been heard about it ever since. I think this is the place where they confirm the news and show a new tease of their next project. They have been tied several times to both Demon's Souls and Metal Gear, we have a remake of the former already and nothing will make me happier than to have a Metal Gear Solid remake announcement here. If it turns out to be that, remains to be seen. Next I'll say that we'll also get a tease from Naughty Dog for The Last of Us Factions and it will launch next year, but I'm going to go one step further and say that we'll also get a DLC announcement for the game and it's going to be coming out in the same fashion as Ghost of Tsushima, a director's cut in 2022. Last but not least, after getting just a logo last year, I think it's pretty much a log we are getting a trailer for God of War Ragnarok, maybe even with pieces of gameplay and a release date for late 2022 that is probably gonna get bumped to early 2023. And there you go, those are my thoughts on what we could be seeing later today in Sony's PS5 showcase. What do you think is going to get shown here? What game will be your dream announcement? Share your thoughts in the comments below, like or dislike to show your feedback, check out all the videos you may like while you're here, and consider subscribing for more PlayStation content. My name is Joseph, this is Hype for Games, and let's get hyped!